Hey everybody, the culinary shut-in here. I'm so excited because today my Phillips pasta maker arrived. I ordered this the first week of March and that was way before um, the whole stay-at-home order had occurred. So I think a lot of people are enjoying making pasta because it took until today, April 15th, for it to arrive. But I'm excited to have it. And one of the things I uh, want to do in addition to demoing um, recipes is to demo like my favorite things. And so we don't know if this is going to be a favorite thing yet, but I say we unbox it and we make some pasta together and then we give it a rating. So let's get going. Okay, so I've got it out of the box now and it's a very complete set. I'm pretty impressed with it. The packaging was excellent and it arrived in great condition. So naturally with this um, pasta maker, you get the pasta making machine, which is this. Um, and it comes with four pasta discs. You can order more, uh, my understanding, but the four that they provided are probably the ones I would use. So it comes with spaghetti, penne, which is two pieces, angel hair pasta, which is like the spaghetti, but a smaller hole, and then a sheet pasta maker so that you can make lasagna and pot stickers and ravioli. So I really like these four um, di cutting discs that they provided. In addition, you get a measuring cup, you get a pasta cutter, so I, apparently so you can cut the pasta off. We'll find that out when we make it. A cleaning tool, which is uh, a pin on one end and a little brush on the other. Uh, you get your typical user manual, and this particular pasta maker is the HR2375 by Philips. You also get a nice little cookbook, and uh, it's really a nice cookbook. It shows you how to make all the basics, uh, lasagna, and then it gives you recipes for like some really great uh, pastas flavored with carrots and beets and things of that nature. So I'm um, not sure when I'll try that but um, a nice little recipe book. And then as an added bonus, uh, you get a coupon for 15% off your purchase of any Philips products. Don't think I'll be buying any more appliances, but uh, it's nice that they include this. So that's the machine. That's everything that comes with it. Um, when we next join, I will have an apron on and we will be making some pasta. Okay. Okay, we're ready for round two, and that's the test drive of the pasta maker. Now, since I did the unboxing and showed you what came with the pasta maker, I've learned some things about what I purchased. Um, first, the errors. I ordered from William Sonoma an HR2357. But what I got in the mail was an HR2375. And this book that came with it had shared with me that the discs I got included spaghetti, angel hair, penne, and lasagna. I was a little concerned about that because I thought, I thought I got a fettuccine disc. Well, as it turns out, according to the manual, I did get a fettuccine dish, but I didn't get some of the things that were advertised with the product. Now, um, the product has this neat drawer. I uh, have, this was actually a fettuccine disc, so I did get the disc that I wanted. Um, I was also supposed to get two measuring cups and a clean, uh, two cleaning discs, and that didn't come with it either. But they, what they did send is a different measuring cup that is for flour and for the liquid ingredients. Uh, the two measuring cups in the older model were uh, one for the liquid, one for the flour. So this actually works out pretty well. So I'm not too upset about that. Now, um, let me kind of show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a double batch of pasta because we have a fairly good sized family and I know I'll need that much, but the process should be the same. So I've already measured out two cups of all-purpose flour. And to that, we're gonna add our liquid ingredients and we are going to make some pasta. 
Now I like, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but this is this amazing wood board that um, we uh, learned about when we took our pasta class. And you can get them at Ikea. They lip, they uh, catch right under the lip of your counter and it's really awesome for catching and stacking the pasta. So let me get my apron on and uh, pull my hair back and we'll make some pasta. Okay, we're ready to make our pasta. And as I mentioned, I am gonna do a double batch and then I had two full cups, level cups of the flour in the jar. I also am using two eggs and enough water to make a liquid for two batches of pasta. Now I'm gonna share something with you. If you like to weigh your ingredients, then weigh both the flour and the liquids or use the measuring cups because they're slightly different. I tested it. So um, let's get started. And we start off by uh, lifting this tab and pouring our flour uh, into the pasta maker. So we're going to um, put all of our flour in here and the maximum capacity of the pasta maker is um, the two cups of flour. So we're gonna put our lid back on. And then what we're gonna do is um, we are going to get the, turn the machine on. Now, this, this is the on button, this is the automatic button. You can also put your own pasta in here and just shape it so you don't have to mix it in the maker, which I kind of like, because I have some other recipes for pasta that I would like to try. So um, we are going to get the machine started. We're gonna let it go a little bit and then I'm gonna add the liquid. <clears throat> I made a point of really beating this well. It might get stuck a little bit. I might have to use my hands, but let's give this thing a test drive. Okay. All right. So it's mixing the flour there. Let you said so to let that happen a little bit. And now we're gonna pour our liquid in. We're gonna go back and forth across the chamber. Kind of let the, get the liquid in there. And apparently when it's done mixing, it's gonna give us a little beep, telling us that it's ready to actually uh, extrude the pasta. So while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna move our camera so that you can actually see that. Okay, so it's continuing to mix. It looks really good. Uh, we have our spaghetti maker disc here. I've got some flour. I'm gonna kind of put a little flour in the board because as the um, pasta comes out, and I'm actually gonna get a tool out and get the cutter out. Um, as the pasta comes out, we're going to cut it and uh, create little stacks of it and put a little flour on it so it doesn't stick together. So just kind of get my board ready. I love this board for my key. I think it's $22 and it's worth every penny. So um, we are uh, patiently awaiting some pasta to come out. This is my first time using the machine. So we are doing this together, test drive, and hopefully we'll get a great outcome. Let's see how long it takes to make it. Okay. We just got a beep, so I think we should be getting some pasta here shortly. Let's see. Oh, it's going back the other way. Who knew? Here we go. It's coming out. Real spaghetti. So exciting. I, I like making pasta. Um, by hand, but I really, um, funny thing is, I'm Italian, like 70% Italian, and um, when I was growing up, my grandmother made homemade pasta all the time, and I was always like, yuck, but um, this stuff is so good. Look at that, that really looks like real spaghetti. So apparently you just let it come out as far as you want it to, and then you make a cut, and then it keeps coming, and um, that's really all there is to it. So um, let's see here. 
I, I like it a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna cut it right there. And I'm gonna make a little uh, pile of pasta right there. You, I don't know if you can see it, there it is. A little pile of pasta. Um, it, it really feels great. So um, I'm pretty excited about it. Of course, the, I always say that proof of the pudding's in eating, so we'll see how good it is uh, when it's done. But so far, it's relatively, it's been relatively easy. So, um, look at that pretty spaghetti. It's just so nice. So, um, we'll keep doing this until we have, you know, the right amount of, uh, of uh, spaghetti. This is a double batch, as I mentioned. So, I think I'm going to do a cut right there. And I'm going to create another little nest of spaghetti put a little dusting of flour on it got another little nest of spaghetti you know as i mentioned i ordered one thing uh and from one picture on the website when i got this pasta maker and then I ended up getting something slightly different. And maybe possibly it's an upgrade. Um, you know, there's so with so much going on and the stores being closed and you know, everybody just struggling to um, you know, survive basically. I'm not gonna really make a fuss over I didn't get my two cups and I didn't get this and I didn't get that because you know what? I'm doing okay and I just don't need to be doing that. So, God, I'm really excited about this. Look at this spaghetti. Look how pretty that is. Can you see? A little pasta there, a little pasta nest. Okay, look at that mountain of pasta we made with this machine. It's a beautiful pasta. So far, I'm very impressed. I have a pot of water on the stove. I'm gonna heat up our bolognese sauce and let's see how it tastes. I'll let you know. Thanks again for joining. This is the Philips Pasta Maker, the HR2375, and I just made a double batch of spaghetti. Take care. Well, we cooked the pasta in a nicely salted water and uh, reheated the bolognese sauce, the waste not want not bolognese sauce that we made uh, in a prior vlog. I also had a loaf of the no need crusty white bread in the freezer, and we warmed that up in the oven. Let me just say that this pasta is beyond restaurant quality. It is so good. I highly recommend it. I would give it five stars. My uh, oldest son, who had it tonight, said it's better than restaurant quality. It's maybe the best pasta he's ever had. So I highly recommend it. I uh, hope that you uh, got value from this video. If you did, if you could please like it and subscribe to the Culinary Shut-In on YouTube. Um, we'd really appreciate it. So uh, stay home, stay safe, and we look forward to uh, talking to you soon about another recipe. Take care.